I think you guys are in for a treat today. I have another microphone to review. What is going on guys? My name's Tim, AKA MacArthur, and Fifine, I think it's a Chinese company, uh, reached out to me and they said, hey, we like your YouTube videos. We'd love to send you one of our microphones to review. And I said, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to change anything I would say in a normal review just because you're sending it to me. You know, I'm gonna give an honest review of it. And they said, no, 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 that's that's fine. That's what we're looking for. So they sent me out the Fifine Ampli game. Right off the bat, it kind of reminds me, uh, it looks like it's gonna be like the uh, HyperX Quadcast. Looks like it's got some RGB lighting in there. Um, let's jump right into the unboxing. All right, we're gonna unbox this thing and then we're gonna put it through its paces. We'll compare it to some other microphones. Definitely the Elgato Wave 3. You guys know that that's my main microphone. That's what I like to use for my streams and videos like this and, and whatnot. Uh, we may even compare it to either the Blue Snowball or uh, the Blue Yeti. So we'll see if we can't get those things set up. I appreciate y'all being here. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you like the content. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. And as always, smash that thumbs up button. That helps me so, so much. Uh, this is the first time that a company has reached out to me and said, hey, I want to send you some stuff here you go uh, and then that allows me to put more content out do more reviews for you guys so if that's something that you like hit that thumbs up button so that we can keep doing stuff like this uh, I have I have some stuff in the future coming up that I'm super excited about all right I'm done talking let's jump right into the unboxing <music> Okay, I want to kind of talk about just some first impressions really quick before we start diving into the meat and potatoes of it. Uh, right out of the box, this microphone feels very, very cheap. Uh, it is super, super light. I actually, I want to put it on a scale and, and see how much it weighs. It feels like, like a plastic, like a plastic shell of a microphone. Like there's almost nothing in here. Like it is probably the cheapest microphone like feeling wise it, it feels very cheap um like even in comparison to like this 15 dollar amazon special microphone is like substantially heavier than than the ampli game um it, it's an all plastic body it just yeah that that's kind of like my first impression of it. Also, you have kind of like this red smiley face on the pop filter, uh, which it's like cute, you know what I mean? But I'm like pretty particular on things that go into my setup. You know, obviously you want your your gaming setup, your streaming setup, whatever, to be as aesthetically pleasing as possible. That's kind of like the thing. And I don't know if I would ever... <laughs> rock a microphone where you have this red smiley face on the pop filter. Oh, really, really quick, uh, as I'm getting this thing set up on a microphone arm, um, one thing I did realize is that it is the the bigger, oh, will that focus? It's the bigger threads on this like pop filter. Um, 
and it doesn't come with an adapter. So luckily, luckily I have one. Uh, it's this like little gold piece there. Most mic arms though won't come with this adapter. Uh, at least like a cheap one. If you get an expensive one, it, it should but uh, most cheap ones will not. Luckily, I have this, but keep that in mind. If this sounds way better than it feels and it ends up being good and, and people start buying it, uh, keep that in mind. You don't get this adapter with your mic arm. So uh, yeah, just something I, I wanted to point out really quickly, but ooh, that's bad. Let's, uh, all right, I'm done talking. Let's get it, let's test it. Okay, so what you guys are hearing right now is my Elgato Wave 3 that I always use on stream. Uh, this is what you would see in my stream. So before we get into kind of the sound test, one thing I want to do is, is point out what the Fifine Ampli game looks like on stream. So I haven't messed with the RGB lights, and you'll see it kind of like cycles through different colors there, like it's green and blue. Um, my initial thought is right on stream it it looks pretty cool okay so what you guys are hearing right now is the fifine ampli game i messed with it a little bit in audacity and i have to say i'm actually like pretty impressed i did not have high hopes for this thing at all like how light it was it just I was like, ah, it's going to it's going to be worse than the $15 Amazon microphone. Um I messed with it quite a bit in Audacity and it I'm impressed. Uh so this is it. This is what it sounds like. I'm recording through OBS. Uh so my my camera is linked up through OBS. This is plugged into OBS as well. So this is what it will sound like on a stream or on like a recording with zero filters on it. Yeah, let's uh, let me grab some other microphones and let's compare it to the blue snowball and I'll see if I can snag my wife's blue Yeti. But let's let's do that. This is the Fifine Ampla game. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Please subscribe. This is the blue snowball. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Please subscribe. This is the Elgato Wave 3. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Please subscribe. So what I want to do now is I want to go over the specifications of the microphone. I realize I have yet to do that and that is pretty important. So we already talked about what you get right out of the box. The six and a half foot cable and then it comes pre-mounted on the uh, shock mount. You get a pop filter and the microphone. Uh, the microphone does have a capacitive mute button. So this mute button at the top is not an actual like clicking button. It, it's kind of like the, it's exactly like the Wave 3 where you have the, the mute button at the top. So all you got to do is just tap it. So you're not going to get any sort of uh, annoying clicking noise in any sort of recording so that's a plus as far as specifications go it is a condenser microphone it is a usb microphone so it gets its power through usb and that is a usb type c that comes on the back uh, it is a sample rate you have 44 kilohertz all the way up to 192 kilohertz and then your frequency response is 60 hertz all the way up to 18 uh, kilohertz so, uh, and then your sensitivity is negative 40 decibels plus or minus three decibels. So all in all, other than the weight and the build quality, that is, that's my biggest pet peeve with this thing, uh, that, and I also looked into the RGB program software to try to change the, the lighting on this. There's no software for it. So the light show that it gives you where it kind of cycles through the lights as you saw that's it there's no you can't change the lighting effects on it i don't know if that's something that's coming uh or what maybe i can ask fifine and find out if that's something that they're working on i know that most of their microphones are not rgb and i so i think that this is probably new to them so they have not released any sort of a software 
on it. Cost, you're looking at $43. So $42.99 when I look it up on Amazon, uh, $42.99 on Amazon. I think that for a budget microphone, I think that that it's a solid, solid choice. It, in my opinion, outdid the Blue Snowball, which is going to be roughly the same cost. I think you can get one of these for forty to fifty dollars, depending. Um, and I used my Blue Snowball for quite a while, at least a year before I upgraded to the the Wave Three. Um, so I would say, other than the build quality and not able to change out the RGB. I think it's a solid microphone and all of the audio that you guys heard, especially in that, in that sound test where I compared all three of those microphones, I had no filters on them. So you can take, and uh, my, my Amazon was going off. You can take almost any USB microphone and make it sound good in OBS with filters. What I want to know from you guys is leave a comment down below and let me know which of the three microphones you thought sounded better. So the Blue Snowball, the Elgato Wave 3, or the Fifine Ampli game. I'm really curious because I think that they were all super close. And that that kind of brings me to my next point of most USB microphones are gonna sound very, very similar. That's why I don't think that there's a, a huge difference between them. I could sit here and talk about this stuff all day, but that's not what you want to do. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one you liked more. I'll leave all my social medias and all that stuff down below. I love y'all. See ya.